Welcome to the Museum of Ancient History, Egypt's gift to the world. All the artifacts displayed here date from the era of the Old Kingdom, roughly 3,000 years ago. Ancient Egyptians dreamed of crossing the Nile River in a boat and living on its west side after their death. From this arose the custom of mummifying their bodies and placing gold and treasures in the grave for them to use after they crossed over. Jeez, man, talk about stealing candy from a baby. I mean, the friggin' grave robbers here had it made. Evading capture is easier than evading your karma, <laughs> hmm? <laughs> In this gallery, ladies and gentlemen, is what many have called the greatest discovery of the last century the incomparably exquisite burial accessories of King Tutankhamun. Exquisite doesn't begin to do you justice. Here you are. Are you mesmerized? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. The security's a little tighter than we anticipated. Guard contingent's the usual. But the laser system stated the art and then some. And it's not just the doors and windows. These guys have got a tight, well-designed grid covering every damn room in the whole place. So what you're saying is even if we did manage to break in, we still wouldn't be able to get anywhere near the case. Ah, uh, now hold your horses, sweet cakes. There is one way. The pedestal is anchored to the floor, but the case isn't anchored to the pedestal, giving us just enough daylight to... Hey, am I talking to myself here? Yes, in a sense. Hey, what the hell's the matter with you guys? Earth to Jigen, could you crawl up out of that water pipe for a sec? Sure, I guess, but you should try this. It's really good. <sighs> Did you guys retire when I wasn't looking? Yeah, out with it. You guys are starting to creep me out. Well? Guys, whatever it is, we can talk about it. I mean, we're like family here, right? Then prepare yourself, Lupin. <laughs> Do you know what that is? Uh, a bad joke, I'm hoping. The dull shadow on this sword. The shadow of death. It's an omen of mortal danger in your present path. <laughs> Come on, man, that's crazy, see? <sighs> Jigen, tell me you don't believe in all this stuff. Me? Nah. It's just my athlete's foot acting up. Oh, really? Then why be such a baby about it? Hey, a little respect, if you don't mind. I know these feet like the back of my hand, and when they itch like this, something bad always happens. I'd be careful what I say around them. They're very sensitive souls. Oh, brother. I liked you better when you were creeping me out, Jigen. This is really pathetic. All right, then. Guess this one will have to be a two-man job, Lupin. Sure, okay, yeah. And don't come begging for a cut of this later. Hmm. The golden mask itself wears a mask of beauty obscuring its true face. Not to sound too much like Goyamon or anything, but... With swift, enveloping wings, implacable death will swoop down upon any who dare touch the grave of Pharaoh. Huh? It's carved in a pot they found inside Tut's tomb. I read about it in a brochure. Inshallah, you two. That basically means good friggin' luck, pal. Yeah, well, same to you, pal. What a wacko. Can you believe that? They're both nuts. You said it, baby. With swift enveloping wings, he swoops and still oh, doesn't score. <laughs> well, Tut, you may have been a great king of Egypt, but I'm a pretty damn good thief. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> That's it, beautiful. Rise to meet your new master, King Lupin the Third. Ah. Ah. Gotcha. You're a very naughty boy. Come on, you. Hey, good work, baby. Mm -hmm. What? Hey, damn it, Fujiko. That wasn't the freaking signal. You trying to kill me? Oh. Were you worried about me? That's so sweet. Lupin! <gasps> of course! Why didn't I think of it? <laughs> the weasel just went through Israel to cover his damn tracks! <laughs> I need a seat on the next direct flight to Cairo! If that's your idea of a joke, sir, it's not appreciated! Listen, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, pal, but I need a- This is an Israeli airport, sir. There are no direct flights to any Arab country. Fuck <laughs> you, this is the last time I'm gonna ask you nicely! Get me a flight to Cairo! Security, hurry! We've got a lunatic! Cheers. Here's looking at you. Mm. Yeah, the second most beautiful face in the room. What a charmer. Hey, Fuji Cakes knows I'm only kidding. Jeez Louise, you guys really need to lighten up a bit. Anyway, I know just what he means. Something about this guy really brings out the concubine in me. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, now that gives me an idea. Hey. Hmm. Ta-da! Now who's your daddy? Hey, man, that's going too far. I know you're trying to impress Fujiko, but you're putting all of us in danger here. Fear not, oh bearded one. If I ran out of royal subjects, who would I have to worship me, huh? Ah, my royal theme music. Nice touch. Thanks, guys. Huh? huh? This is getting just a little too weird, don't you think? Mm-hmm. I haven't heard this for years. Thousands of years. Thanks, you're very talented. But don't call us, we'll call you. I got him. Oh. Here, let me. <gasps> I'm afraid that this is beyond the realm of medicine. What? Are you telling me this is the curse of the Pharaoh? What did the inscription say? Oh. Now you're interested, huh? Here, read it for yourself. The curse of the pharaoh. Strange deaths plague the excavators of Tutankhamun's royal tomb. In 1922, British archaeologist Howard Carter discovered the royal burial chamber of King Tutankhamun in the Valley of the Kings. Soon after that, Lord Carnaby, who helped finance the excavation, died mysteriously. A short while later, two art experts who visited the tomb also died suddenly. Howard Carter himself died inexplicably in 1923, screaming, It's all over. I can hear the calling. Some things shouldn't be fooled around with. Read on. Over the years, 20 different people died mysteriously. You know what the only thing they had in common was? The Tut research. Ugh. It's nothing but ghost stories. Think Lupin would agree with that right now? I... Oh. What the 
hell's the matter with him? It is a curse. <sighs> well, if it's no use calling a doctor, Jigen, what the hell can we do? We gotta do something. Look, I'm no expert, but if it was me, I'd get that frickin' mask back to the museum pronto. Such a gesture might serve to pour oil on the troubled water. It would seem a good place to start. No! There's gotta be another way. I mean, swiping it was a masterpiece in itself. Hey, you asked, we answered. Live with it. I can't. Besides, I know Lupin would never agree to that. It's against everything he stands for. The shadow of death is getting darker. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Lupin! <gasps> Huh? Oh my god! Oh. Where'd he go? I got an idea, but if I'm right, he's sicker than we thought. I hate to say it, but these feet are itching like crazy. Let's go! That's him, all right. What the hell is he up to? Impressive. It's a deceptively difficult climb up there. The guy's possessed. He could probably bench press Shaq. Well, don't just stand there feeling inadequate. He's our friend. He's in danger. We've got to help. Help? What do you suggest? Hmm. Lupin, darling! Could you come here, please? feeling about this. Out of the way! Move it, move it! One side coming through! Mm. Uh-oh. All right, leave this to me. Lupin, get down! You're under arrest! Believe, Believe me, me! Don't, don't make, make me, me come, come up there! there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Spirits of the great kings, protect me! Send not this roaming soul hence again! Don't you worry about it, Lupin. Old Pops is here to make sure your roaming days are over for good. Uh, I don't know about you, but I got nothing. There's nothing to be done. It's no use troubling your mind. The entire thing's in other hands now. <laughs> <sighs> Lupin, I'm getting really pissed off here! Thank you, great kings. I am delivered from my enemies. I rise! Huh? It's the spirit of Pharaoh! I know we're superstitious, but are we this superstitious? Look, he's attached to something. Huh? Son of a... Another cheap stunt, huh, Lupin? Damn it! Come on! Fujiko! Don't let him get away!
The sun sets and the sun rises again. The same sun the pharaohs worshipped thousands of years ago. Yes, you know our lives really are just the blink of an eye. Mm hmm? <sighs> How's he doing down there, anyway? Once he knew we were headed for the Valley of the Kings, he smiled and fell fast asleep. Fujiko, is that the... Mm-hmm. I'm so ashamed of myself. I just hope it's not too late to return it. <sighs> he fell asleep in my arms, babbling and shivering. It was unbearable seeing him like that, frail and frightened. He was clinging to me like a newborn baby. Hey, are you all right? Me? Yeah, sure. It's just, you know, I mean... He is the world's greatest thief, after all. Yeah, that's right. So, hurry up and get this thing back where it belongs. Done. Take good care of our boy, okay? Mm-hmm. Shh, take it easy now. My face! Where's my face? Lupin, please, darling, you'll only hurt yourself. It's okay, baby, I'm with you. I've got to do something. He's getting worse. Excuse me, is there a pharmacy nearby? Uh, hey, Fujiko! Oh, God, Zenigata! Don't you dare move a muscle! Now, where's Lupin? Of all the people to run into, talk about bad luck. Oh, please, please let us go just this ah, once! Fat oh. pants! What do you take me for, King Tut's curse? That's ridiculous! <laughs> 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 Lupin, come on out! The game's up! Crap, where'd he go? Crap, crap, crap! He got away! So, admit it! You were just playing for time with all that crap about the mask having a curse on it! No, it's true! Look at that! Huh? The blood on the cuffs is his. He had to yank his hands free. You know as well as I do, Inspector, that if Lupin were in his right mind, he could just slip right out of them. Hmm, you know you got a point there. So then, where would he be? He must be in the Valley of the Kings. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Much obliged, Fujiko. Well, Lupin, whether or not you were cursed before, it doesn't matter, because you sure as hell are now! Damn it! So now it's grave rubbing, huh? I guess that's what you're reduced to when you've ripped off every living person on the face of the earth. Where does it all end, Lupin? Animals, stuffed animals, cartoons? The sun rises. Yeah, with any luck at all, it'll mean a new day for Lupin. We've done everything we can at this point. It's disappeared. Hey. Hmm. Don't. Coochie coochie. <laughs> Gucci coo! Come on, stop it! Huh? Lupin! You were expecting maybe King Tut? <laughs> Lupin! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so long, royal family. Boy, I feel like I'm waking up from a 3,000 year old dream. Believe me, it was more like a nightmare. Come on, princess. Maybe it's true, I swear, I hear voices. What if it's really the ghost of Tutankhamun calling out to me? What if I end up just like, oh! No, it's just a trick, gotta be. Lupin! So, how was I? 
I mean, as a king. Sick and scary. I mean, you know, before that. Oh, you want to know about. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, you didn't bring out the concubine in me. <laughs> you were goofy. You should have seen yourself. Damn. It's a trip, man. Alone on a train with a groovy chick and damn, where'd he come from? Button in again as usual, but I just keep on trucking. As long as there's ugly bad guys and a whole train load of stolen paintings, even old pops can't harsh my buzz. Meet me on the Disorient Express. Catch you later. <laughs>